Hey, what's up, fellas? This video is for Emmanuel, Jeremy, and Rhonda. I got three people interested in the system that can perform the way we're about to see here. And what we're looking at right here is some raw R&D. This is how it happens sometimes when I test out an idea. I'm not always sure what we're gonna do, and I just do some weird stuff that isn't picked up on camera, so I thought I'd show you guys some of the methods I use to come to a final design sometimes. They're not always safe or practical maybe you would say but uh, this is how I figure this stuff out sometimes I've just created quite the jet engine here I realized we were running just a combustion can with no nozzle on it so I decided to run inside real quick and weld the nozzle up and within seconds I had changed the behavior of this machine extraordinarily I, I wish you could feel the magnitude of the roar when I put that nozzle on there. It's just like night and day. So, a manual, I think this right here is gonna give us those top temperatures that we were needing for your process. Jeremy, the same thing for you. And for Rhonda, I don't think we're gonna need a nozzle on your setup. That might be a little too hot. I think just an opened end combustion can would suit your needs. So let's take a look at some of the footage and some of the failures that took place today. All right, Emmanuel, this part of the test was done for you. I've been trying to find a nice small pump for you that can be shipped all the way to Dubai without costing us a lot of money. And this pump is like a standard fuel pump. I think it can do 100 PSIs. It's just not enough pressure. I thought I'd give it a try. Now, if we put two of them in tandem, that might give us what we want, but this just isn't working out. This is a 2.5 gallon per hour nozzle okay, it's looking with really a good. 80 degree spray angle. And this is with about 300 PSI's. So these nozzles like to be in the 300 PSI range when you're using dirty waste oil. This isn't kerosene or fuel oil or diesel or anything like that. This is some seriously dirty waste oil that often okay, contains antifreeze and water whatever is in a car when you work on it is in this oil so i'm just running this thing through its paces trying to get it dialed down for you rhonda for some smaller flames you i know you've got a small firebox this thing would perform a lot better if it had a firebox on the end of it for some of this testing but for now we're just doing the naked flame testing seeing how it can do on different settings and I feel like uh, maybe we would want even a little more pressure on this nozzle. It's kind of finicky on these lower settings. Waste oil is just hard to burn. If we preheated it, you know, it would definitely help out. But it doesn't really need it in most applications, especially if you're beating this thing into a fire. It has box. literally no back pressure. It's like a combustor can with no nozzle on it right now. I should probably give it a shot with a nozzle, see what happens. We've got a nozzle here. We'll give it a shot.
hard for me to hold this here. My arm break. I've seen enough. I know now what we need to do. That was freaking awesome. Some serious R&D right there. <laughs>